Egyptology at the University of Manchester has a history of more than a, more than a century uh, since the uh, early trailblazer archaeologist and, and suffragette Margaret Murray was seconded to research this excellent collection of materials from ancient Egypt that was collected mainly by uh, Sir Flinders Petrie and uh, sent here to Manchester. Um, teaching uh, in Egyptology uh, started out initially as um, teaching biomedical Egyptology, so the study of human remains, uh, mummies, things like that. Uh, and then has since diversified into uh, primarily a, an online suite of online degrees in, uh, in Egyptology, um, a certificate in Egyptology, a diploma in Egyptology. So uh, speaking of, of human remains, um, I wanted to highlight this object from the Manchester collection. It's one of 18,000 artifacts from ancient Egypt. And this is what's known as a canopic jar meaning a vessel where a piece of the viscera, a piece of the body, was placed uh, during mummification and preserved. Um, so this chap here with the uh, falcon head is uh, Kevis Nuef, who's one of the sons of Horus. Um, and what you can see, the, the jar does actually open. And what's interesting about this particular example is that these jars were inscribed with formulae, uh, magic spells. And um, they mentioned the name of the deceased. And here, where there is this damage, the original name of the owner had been chiseled out and replaced by a new name, uh, a fellow called Samtek, who presumably found or purchased this jar after it had already been used, turfed someone else's intestines out of it, and then re-inscribed his own name. Um, because burial in ancient Egypt was, was an industry, it was a funerary industry, so these objects could, could often be reused many, many times.